And what is up guys? How are we? Okay, so today we're going to make it quick and simple, easy, no coding, like basic shit. So we're going to take designs from Figma and we're going to put them straight into Wix and Framer. So we can use, we can publish them for our clients or even for just our business, right? So it's easy. And what's the funny, the funny part about it is, is Figma actually has better designs like than uh, Wix and Framer, like just is as in like community assets. So we're going to use them. We're going to put them into Wix and Framer. I'm going to show you step by step how to, right? Please like and subscribe the fucking video. Help me out. This is the second video we've done. We've got 12 subscribers as I speak right now. So we just had someone else subscribe. Thank you, bro. All right. Give it a like, subscribe, and support the channel. We're going to bring some mad content. All right. It's going to be, I don't know. It's going to be funny. I don't fucking know. But we're going to do it, bro. Let's go. All right. Here we go. So we are in Figma, right? And we have three designs here that I'm going to give to you. And they're going to be in the description. And you, I mean, you get to choose whatever one you want, right? You, you want green, you want gray, you want red, whatever the fuck you want, right? It doesn't matter. I don't care what you use. This one's uh, this one's kind of like a more mainstream. Um, uh, this one's probably the best one. And this is just a vibrant one. I like the colors that pop, you know, the the buttons and the call to actions, you know, like they, they just pop and they're more in your face. Um, but we're, we're going we're, we're gonna to do this design, right? Oops, here we go. We're going to do this design, right? It's just a basic business, right? They do renovations. Um, they've got the services here and we're not going to go... We're, we're designing a landing page right now, right? And then each page that we get into, like we're not going to go... We're not going to click get your estimate and then, you know, it's going to do a whole get your estimate thing. Like even though that's quite simple, right? And then you, you can just... Uh, this is kind of like... I kind of like to think that your landing page after you've wireframed and if you don't know what a wireframe is then just leave a comment and I'll like leave a resource um, but after we wireframe and, and, and we know what we want we design a landing page right it's kind of like our home page so let's get into it and I'm going to show you how to fucking do it all right first we need to we're going to do Wix first right so we have the plugin right and if you don't know where plugins are this is the latest UI right of Framer so Figma, oh, I keep on getting, getting them confused. Fuck, sorry. Right, this little button here, that's our plugins, right? Conversely, I'm pretty sure you can go up here and your plug and plugins will be there, okay? But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna use down here. So it's right there for me, but you literally in search, you click here and then you search it, right? So uh, I, I don't know, ah, uh, and then it'll come up, right? You Figma to Wix Studio, type it in word for word, don't fucking make a spelling mistake, all right? So we're gonna click that, all right? And we're gonna set up the export. So we set up and we need to, after we click that, we need to go to Wix, all right? Let's do that now. All right, now we're in Wix, okay? This is free. By the way, guys, everything I give to you now is free. You don't have to spend a single dollar, right? So let's go here. Right. Um, give me one second. Let's go here. Right. Let's create a new site. We're going to use a studio blank canvas. Okay. We're going to click on that. So now that's loaded. Okay. We're not going to mess around with the header or this. We don't need to do that yet. All right. So we need to come here. We need to go to. to so this is in the top top left corner. All right. Guys, top left corner, you, cl you click that, we go to tools, we press import from Figma, okay? Now, we're going to need the URL, so let's go get that, and I'll show you where to get that in Figma. So, we're back in Figma, right? And you're probably wondering, where the fuck do I get the link, right? Now, if you're on a desktop, a desk, um, sorry, on a like a browser, you'll just get it at the top on the search bar, right? It'll just be there, but we're not, we're actually in the app. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come here, it's right in front of you. You press share, you click that, right? We copy link. So now we've copied link. I hope nobody has any problems. If you have a problem, you don't know where to copy the link, leave a comment, I'll get back to you AS fucking AP, all right? Let's go back to Wix. 
So we're back in Figma after we've after that's loaded, okay? Now we're gonna click X. I'm done connecting my file. You you have to wait till it loads and you see everything up on Wix, alright? Just like that, okay? So now we're gonna click next. We're gonna start the export and we're gonna go step by step, alright? We start from the top and we go we go down, alright? Whoops. Make sure we select our frame. And there we go. See? Simple. You know, th 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 this shit's like kind of, it's not hard, right? But it's tedious, right? You miss one step and then you fuck up, right? So you got to take it slow. And if you, you know, always, always ask, always ask questions. Yeah. That's the, that's the kind of like the main thing. Yeah. Now, let's let's get this. Let's get the let's get that file. All right. Uh, we don't need that. Okay, we don't need that. All right. So now everything every everything's in Wix. All right. So let's do that. Let's go back to Wix. All right. Those steps are only for if you're not going to do what I just said and you kind of and you want to import a file, right? We're not doing that. We're using the link, all right? I should have known that. I should have known better. Fucking stupid me, right? Actually, not stupid me. Fucking, that's just how it goes, right? So here we go. We're in, we're in Wix. Now, if you're smart enough, you'll realize something, right? we have the header still there. We need to delete that. Okay? And then, bang. Everybody. What did I tell you? We're in Wix now. This 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 is a publishable website. <coughs> this is publishable. All right? We can publish it. But, you'd be stupid too because none of the fucking buttons work. All right? Now, quickly, I just want to show you what it looks like. Now, the beauty of this is we don't have to animate these buttons are imported, right? And they've all, and they already have hover states, right? These don't, but the majority, if not all, the buttons have hover states, right? Now you can change it whether you want it to be blue or not. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. So we're gonna hit the button container, click X, click this out, and it will be. It actually won't be there. That's funny. No, it doesn't even have that. All right. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. Now, I'll show you. We'll just do that again. All right? Because I don't want it to go over your head. I want you to like kind of like get it. Because we can change the color, whatever color you want. So, we double click triple click whatever it is to get that container highlighted we hit over here right and now we're going to be met with that we're going to hit hover it's important see it changes blue if i change the opacity you know you see let's see how that looks looks retarded right i can't say that word um yeah it looks stupid but let's pick another color let's like try purple change the opacity back to 100 okay green to purple green to purple all right so that's how you do that okay and i'm going to quickly just show you some animations that like when someone opens up the website how everything comes up actually no that's that'll be for another video that'll be for another video i don't want to bore you with wix i don't really like wix but it's good though it's good so let's get into how to do it with framer so we're back in figma okay and this process is just a tiny little bit different. All right, it's actually it's actually easier. Um, so, if it's gone over your head, right? I hope it hasn't, because I hope I explained it pretty fucking clearly. <laughs> but but here we go. All right. So, I need you to type this in right here. Okay. You need not all your plugins and widgets, Figma to HTML with Framer. I need you to type that in. I'm not going to give you a second to do it. You just got to do it. Okay. Pause the video. Let's click on that. 
select the lighter copy. Let's do that again. There we go. So, what's that doing? It's copying all the layers. I'll see you when that's all copied, all right? So that's done, right? So what we do is we copy it to clipboard. Bang, just like that, all right? So, we're in Framer, right? Now, just for the sake of the video, we're gonna go back to dashboard because I just wanna go step by step, okay? I said I'll do that, so we're gonna fucking do it, all right? We're not gonna be a woman and we're not gonna like just jump, 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 all right? So, we're gonna click new project. After you make an account and everything like that, you know, I'll put I'll put all the links in bio so, you know, you can streamline it. Streamline it. Here we go, we're in here. So, we've got a copy to our clipboard, right? Click on that frame. Just click on it and I want you to make it to 1440 just so there's no there's no um you know confusions because that's how that's the width right of the screen that we made in Figma right it's a hundred it's 1140 pixels right so 1440 pixels right so we click on that frame we go control V and there we go okay uploading in Figma 9% I'll be back once it's at like 99%, all right? And that's done, all right? So, this is our tutorial. We don't need to, we don't need to watch, I'm already giving you the fucking tutorial, right? The tutorial's here. Dismiss, there we go, right? Now, it's cut off, I understand that. So, what do you do? Is we just drag it down. We drag it down, right? That's all we do. We drag it down. And we continue to drag it down, right? Let me continue. Do we get about there? Right? Simple. Perfect. Right? And then there you go. That's what we have, right? And it's scrollable, right? And I don't it's not scalable, okay? Now that'll be in another video, right? Because it's kind of like, it's not time consuming, but you have to like all these all these bits and pieces, they need to be um they need to be constrained, right? So they need to be constrained there and that should actually in fact. Yeah, see, we don't want that, right? But that's why that's why we make um we make three different designs, like we make a mobile one. Um we make a desktop and we make like kind of like a tablet, right? Width and height relative We'll see if that does anything, just for the sake of the video. Because um, I, like, I kind of want to make it as easy as possible for you. Um, yeah, I, I, look, it's it's more more so... It's more just a tedious kind of thing, right? Where when people have a larger or a smaller screen, you know, like if they minimize the tab or... They make it smaller, you know. Like we want, we, we want the the content to go with that, right? Because it, you know, that, like every website should have that, and every website basically does that. Does have that. To be fair, if we actually go back into Wix, that actually should be the case with Wix. Yeah. See, so that that is the case with Wix, right? So my suggestion to you, right, would be if you cannot be fucked constraining all the items to the, the side or the top of the page and there's actually a good tool for that it's called Dora but that's another fucking another head, head fuck um, yeah just use Wix Re uh, guys honestly just just use Wix I'm not even I'm not even going to cap I know I said it was shit before but just fucking use Wix because here I need to make another design so like see actually to be fair yeah so it's easy, right? It's fucking easy, right? See? But what I gotta do is I've gotta like move everything, you know, see how that's like no good but and then I've got to change the um the fucking the size of the font. So like that's probably gonna have to be like forty eight pixels. Let's see what it looks like there. Yeah, see? So look I w <laughs> It's tedious, right? It's a pain in the ass, but see, see how like the content actually moves now, right? It, it, it just it flows better. 
Um, yeah. But see, that's how you do it, guys. We're done. All right, we are done. Don't worry about that. It was 15 minutes of video. Um, I don't want to bore you for too long, but just please like the video, subscribe to my channel because this is the second video we made. The last one was seven minutes. This one's like going to be like 18 minutes, maybe 20 minutes long, but it's worth it. It's worth it. You know, you're going to figure out how to like take a design, right, from Figma. Like, or like we can go, we can go here, this little thing here design resources, design templates, right? And I'll just type in like, um, wait, where, where can we go? Uh, yeah, sorry, desktop apps and website. And we can kind of like, I, and I'll just do a quick one right here. So we can grab that, we can take this opening Figma, right? And this is how like easy it is. Like imagine that, like you can probably make, I don't know how, like I don't want to give the secret away, right? But we can go here, right? And we can literally, because we'll, we'll, we'll do it in Figma. We can go here. We can s select that frame, right? And that's how many people? 14440, right? We go HTML to Figma and it's going to copy all the layers. There we go. It's almost done. It's going to take a sweet fucking time. We copy the clipboard. We go back to Framer, right? Let's delete everything. Um, yeah, delete, delete, delete. Okay, well, I don't know why it's not deleting. Oh, wait, layers, there. All right, delete that, go here, paste. Wait, let's just go control V, it's easier, right? And then give that a second, I'll come back when that's, actually, now that's going pretty quick, right? Watch, just watch. Guys, come on. You know, like, this is the type of shit that people, like, really, really pay a lot of money for. You know, you understand, like, look at that. You know, there's still a lot more. It still goes down to there. But, you know, look at that. Guys, come on. You know, you, you have to animate that. You know, it, it, look, that ain't easy, right? That really isn't easy. Um, but, you know, you kind of, like, you can tweak things and you can kind of just, like, but you have a design there. You have a design, you know, and you click publish, right? And then we let that load right here. You know, we full screen it. And then it's because, look, guys, remember, as I said, we, we really need to constrain those items. But, you know, like, see, and, and in Wix, that would actually be a hover state. That'd have a hover state, right? But see, guys, you know, you guys really got to take this, like, like seriously, because you know, like this, this ain't shit to fuck around with. You know, like this is real money. This is real money. Like I don't know where I read, but it's like some millions of websites a day are being published, and there need to be people to make those websites, and that is us, right? So, guys, thank you for fucking watching. Subscribe. I know I said that before, and I said that about three times now. But subscribe, like, turn notifications on, help a brother out, right? And we're gonna bring fucking good content to you motherfuckers right hopefully um hopefully we can get a new video out uh tomorrow or the day after all right guys remember subscribe no dick sucking no dick writing but you know let's do it thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate it all right i wouldn't be anywhere i mean i haven't got many subscribers now but i have some so guys thank you so much all right peace out Here's Goat, I heard a rocket. <laughs>